Championship week has been absolutely nuts so far. What's going to happen now? Who's going to go to the national championship game? One thing's for sure. If we win tonight versus Mississippi Valley State, we are in there. We will have our ticket punched. So let's look into this Mississippi Valley State football team. They are 15th in pass defense. Defense is pretty decent. Run game is decent. Pass offense is not that great. But they do have Peter Blaylock. And he can work magic, whether it's with his arm or with his legs. So you see here, they're 27th in total defense, 43rd in the country in rush offense. You see where they're bread and butter at. They are nasty up front, especially in the defensive line. They have a nasty secondary. They're just nasty all over the board on defense. Mississippi Valley State comes into this game, hoping to extend their season by one more game. They are five and six right now. They need this win to be bowl eligible. We need this win as well, because not only do we want to keep our winning streak going to 31, but we must remain undefeated in the season in order to make it to that national championship game. The number two team in the country comes out on a mission looking to win, looking to go to the national championship game for the second consecutive year. And the man that could be the Bolitnikoff and Heisman Trophy winner is on the field right now, right next to his fellow Heisman Trophy finalist, Trey Tyler. Don Robbie Smith having a season for the ages. So let's look at Peter Blaylock. He's nasty. He's back. But this team is losing a lot of players on the line. Jeff Patterson is out for the season. They got a starting center, Jamal Brown. He's out for five weeks, so technically his season is over. Scott Gotwin, right tackle. Red shirt freshman out for three weeks. And then on a defensive side of the ball, they have two impact players at linebacker. Stephen Griffin, 6'5", 210, a senior, and he's a run stopper. Probably one of the reasons why they're so good on defense. And Brian Gibson, who's also a run stopper at 84 overall. So as the game kicks off, we know what's at stake. We know that Florida lost to LSU. We know that there's going to be a new number one. It could be us. It might be LSU, hell it might be Ohio State, we don't know. What about the champ national championship game? What's going to happen there? Who's going to be going? Well, one thing's for sure. If we win today, we're for sure going. So as the game kicks off, Mississippi Valley State's on offense. Corey Brooks taking that handoff and getting just past the first down marker. 36 situation now. At their own 45 there in the shotgun, Peter Blaylock pops in and he just takes off, just takes off and runs. Just past the 50-yard line, he's in the Hornet territory. Duck the Devils moving. This time, Peter Blaylock gets sacked. William Dorsey, the junior out of Greenville, Mississippi, comes in for the sack. Second and long, Peter Blaylock. This time, he's popping it deep. And that pass is caught. Kent caught that on three defenders. Look at this again. Wendell Davis thought he had an interception, but he failed. And now they have the ball in the red zone. Valley now have the ball at the Hornets 16. This time is a play fake. No, it's a quarterback draw like a Peter Blaylock. He takes off. And there he goes. Getting tackled by Josh Jones around the one-yard line. A second and goal situation at the hand of the Corey Brooks. And he finishes off the drive. A great start for the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. As Brooks goes into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. And now we're down 7-0. We finally have the ball on offense. And look at this. Mississippi Valley State took almost three minutes off the clock in the first quarter. Third and eight now at our own 22. Trey Tyler sets back the pass on the pressure. He's popped and that pass falls incomplete. It could have been caught though. Ryan Thompson actually could have caught that ball. But nevertheless, it's fourth and eight and we're forced to punt deep in our own territory. So here goes Mississippi Valley State. That time McCohen gets in on the tackle, but William Dorsey gets injured. Don't worry, he will be back. Third and long situation now. Corey, well, Peter Blaylock pops it up the middle. That pass is caught by Harris. And once again, Wendell Davis whiffs on a potential interception. Another whiff. And now Mississippi Valley State are in our territory at our 30. Peter Blaylock, another draw play. This time he gets taken down by William Dorsey. Second and 11 at the 31-yard line. Look at this, a triple option play. Peter Blaylock takes off. 2010 touchdown, Delta Devils. Mississippi Valley State is now up 14-0, just like it started last year. So now, 
We have to get back into this game. Broken tackle there by Leon Henderson. Getting closer to the first down marker. We got to go back to the screen. Pass the guy that's been the man this season. Other than Trey Tyler. And that's Don Robbie Smith. His first catch goes for 24 yards. So here goes the handoff. No, it's a play fate. Trey Tyler pops it to the 16 feet. Um, Scott Jordan, what a catch and a play. Touchdown, Alabama State. We're back in the game as the first quarter comes to an end. It's 14 to 7. Mississippi Valley State takes the lead. The 11 and 0 Hornets got work to do. Peter Blaylock dumps that pass off the Mara. And he makes that catch and gets the first down. First and 10. And this time it's a play fake, but Rafa Ford is not full. He good, sir. Peter Blaylock gets set for the second time today. A third and long situation. Peter Blaylock with off a pass and he gets set again. Back to back sacks. This time it's Big Ben Williams. Big sack right there by our defense. Fourth and 24. Valley's forced to punt. We're back on offense. Trey Tyler rolls out to the left. Trey Tyler finds Ryan Thompson up the middle, and now we're in Delta Devil territory. That's his first catch of the game. First and 10, now Trey Tyler this time rolling out to the right, and he finds Ryan Thompson once again up the middle. What a catch. Four straight completions for the red shirt freshman Trey Tyler. This time we're going up the gut with the big end Leon Henderson. There goes the set of a moment. He breaks another tackle, and he gets to the first down, and much more around the three. So this time we're going to play it safe. Give it to low down 30 Shane Harris. And he cruises into the end zone. And just like that, this game is tied at 14. Alabama State. North what's on the line today. Mississippi Valley State back on offense. There goes a dump pass and a flat. And there goes Blake Clayton. Our impact player at strong safety. Third and 10 now. They give it to the big fullback ward. And look at William Dorsey. Baptizing the fullback with the holy water. We forced in the pump. We're back on offense. Trey Tyler pops it up the left side and his pass is caught. Look at that move right there by Ryan Thompson. What a catch and a move. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Fleming got injured and he's pretty much out for the rest of the season. So here goes the big L, Leon Henderson. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. We're in the red zone at the 19. We're looking to score 21 on that set now. Here goes Trey Tyler. We found that mojo up the middle. Ryan Thompson makes the catch. And that should have been ruled a touchdown. But we're tackled at the one-yard line. So now we're just going to give it to the big L. Leon Henderson. He just cruises in up the gut. Touchdown, Alabama. We're up 21 to 14. 21 on that set points by the Hornets. So here goes Peter Blaylock looking to do something before the half. He pops it deep. And that pass is caught. Harris made that catch, he beat Brad Anderson, and that time it looked like Wendell Davis once again. Wendell Davis is not having a good half so far. He's looking to get a pick, but he keeps coming up short every time. So with four seconds left, Valley decides to take the field goal, the kick is up and it's good. 21 to 17 at the half, Valley's down by four. So with that being said, it's still a ball game, but there's still more to be played. What's gonna happen? Who's gonna win this sweat championship game? Will Alabama State extend their winning streak to 31 games along with this sweat title? Or will we fold in there? Goes Ryan Thompson. He's not looking to lose today. What a catch. This time it's a play fake. We're looking deep for Don Robbie Smith. And that pass is caught. Touchdown, Alabama State. Touchdown, Alabama State. Don Robbie Smith has done it again. That's touchdown catch number 18 on the season. Touchdown pass number 40 for uh, Trey Tyler. We're up 28 to 17. Look at Ward though, going up the gut. The Delta Devils back on offense. And this time he got baptized by Daniel Hayes. Red shirt freshman, or I believe he was a sophomore out of Jacksonville, Alabama. Another play fake. This time it's a dunk pass and that's going nowhere. We're looking for that now. Third and seven. Peter Blaylock decides to take off, but he good shirt. Another sack on Peter Blaylock. And we're looking to cruise on offense once again. This time, Trey Tyler rolls out to the left. He finds Scott Jordan, the 16 phenom. We're in Delta Devil territory. First and 10 this time. Tyler rolls out. Tyler looks up the middle again, and that pass is incomplete. We was looking for Henry Ortiz. Second and 10, half at the red to the big L, Leon Henderson. I have no idea why they made me do that juke move right there, but that was not what I was looking for. So this time, we go back to him again, and this time, he secures the first down. So now we're at the 29 of Valley. Trey Tyler rolls out once again. This time he pops it up the middle and it's picked off. It's picked off the free safety. Brown was waiting for it. He's going back the other way. Brown just untouched and he takes it back for a pick six. Touchdown Mississippi Valley State.
touchdown Mississippi Valley State what a disaster and now we got a ball game again it's 28 to 14 we're only up by four now after that disaster so now we give it to Shane Harris oh, and he gets baptized with the holy water Mississippi Valley State gets the ball back and there goes Brown once again he gets his hands around the ball once again and Mississippi Valley State are not looking to take the lead it's late third quarter at the 36. Blaylock takes off. Blaylock comes to corner. Blaylock is in the red zone. Tackled around the 19 yard line. First and 10 again. There goes Blaylock. He dodges a sack. He's finding somebody in the flat. That's Ward the fullback. And he's finally taken down by Blake Koch. We should have had a sack on that play. Second and nine. Now another play fake. Blaylock pops it in the end zone. And it jumps off the back of his jersey. That should have been a catch. We, we caught a break. 39, Blaylock, pops it, Blaylock, no he's running, and he gets tackled near the 10 yard line, so on 4th down they decide to secure a field goal, the kick is up and it's good, we dodged a huge bullet on that drive, that should have been a touchdown catch, 3 seconds left in the 3rd quarter, we just going to give it to the big guy, Leon Henderson, secure the first down for now, and take this thing to the morning quarter, Leon has 76 on 11 carries, we're only up by one point after that big pick six by Bally. And now we're looking to close things out. What a third quarter that was. And now we go to the fourth quarter. Might as well, right? With the way conference championship weekend is gone, why not add more drama to the sweat title? So there goes Trey Tyler this time looking for Don Robbie once again. Making that catch and Don Robbie having a great game. Trey Tyler approaching 300 yards passing. Play fake this time. We're going to look for the 16 feet on Scott Jordan. And if, if he made that catch, he wouldn't have been in bounds. So it doesn't matter. Second and 10, not the half at the red. And they read that like a book. They read that like a book. DB comes in the backfield, gets a stop on Leon Henderson. So it's third and 13. Trey Tyler rolls out to the right. Trey Tyler looking for the 16 feet. Oh, he caught that. He caught that off a of deflection. He caught that off a of deflection. He dropped it, it was still in the air, and he made the catch. I don't know why Trey Tyler scolded him, but that was a great play of concentration by Scott Jordan. This time we're looking for Don Robbie downfield, and that's another touchdown. Touchdown catch number 19 for Don Robbie Smith, the man that's looking to win the Heisman Trophy. Will this be a Heisman Trophy moment for the man out of Heart Sale, Alabama? Second and 10, Peter Blaylock this time going up the gut. He's getting nothing though. We are locked in on Blaylock the rest of the way. Third and seven. Blaylock pops it. That pass is picked up by Brad Anderson. What a pick. Alabama State runner cover two. And Brad Anderson, the junior out of Florida, picks that off. So now we're going to do a screen pass. That's Scott Jordan, the 16 feet on me. He got popped. He got popped on that play. Second and 13. Trey Tyler pops it. It's a bad oh, pass. Shit. And it's picked off. It's picked off again. We have to stop Wallace. Trey Tyler, can he stop him? And there goes the big guy, Leon Henderson, making the play. Leon Henderson making the biggest tackle of the season. And now, since we became goofies and decided to still pass, we have to depend on our defense to get this stop. Scott McFarlane has a shoulder injury, but he'll be back. We're going to have to have a talk with our strength and conditioning coach because too many players are getting injured in these late stages. So there goes Peter Blaylock getting the first down right there and he's celebrating like he just scored. What the hell is that about? First and 10, Blaylock takes off. Blaylock up the gut, he breaks a tackle, gets tackled inside the 20 yard line. Peter Blaylock continues to give the defense problems. This time is an option play and this time Brooks breaks a tackle but he's not getting away from Blake Clayton as he delivers the clothesline from hell like Brad Shaw of the Acolytes from back in the day. Second and nine this time, Corey Brooks gets closer to the first down marker. We need a stop, it's third and two. Six yard line of Alabama State, shotgun set, play lock, it's deflected and it's picked off. It's picked off by Brad Jones. What a stop, the stop that we desperately needed. The Alabama State defense comes through. And now we're just looking to run the clock out. We won't be passing the ball no more. Make them use their timeouts. There goes the second one right there. Big Hill, Leon Henderson gets the first down, 84 and 13 on the day. This time they give us free yardage as they move on the left side right there. So now it's second and one. We give it to the Big Hill once again, and that's our first down. And ladies and gentlemen, we dodge a bullet. The Alabama State Hornets 
have done it once again. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five straight swag titles. What a season for the Alabama State Hornets. 31 game winning streak now. The Hornets are on their way back to the national championship game, but this time it's in the desert. Trey Tyler had a decent game, minus those two interceptions. Leon Henderson played great. Maybe we should have gave them the ball more. We're going to have to stop doing that, though. We can't be neglecting these running backs. Uh, Ryan Thompson and Don Robbie Smith had a great game. So did Scott Jordan. Two touchdowns for Don Robbie Smith. That might give him the Heisman Trophy, either him or Trey Tyler now. We'll see, though, because that's what's going to be happening next time. We're going to show you the awards. We're going to give you the Heisman Trophy presentation. And we're going to see who our opponent going to be down in the desert. Thank you for watching. Peace. Five in a row, 31 game winning streak. Let's get it, baby.